Let's have a look at an Oxford entrance physics exam problem. This problem is not too difficult, however, it is really insightful and just super fun. So a diver is five meters underneath the surface and then they look up and they see a circle essentially of light and in that circle they can see what's directly above them for instance i don't know there could be a boat over here or something and they can see through that now beyond that circle they only see what's reflected reflected from the bottom of the pool that they're in. Explain why such a circle exists and then calculate its radius. This has got to be caused by total internal reflection. So what I'm going to do is write down Snell's law and I will say that n1 sine theta1 is equal to n2 sine theta2 for light rays that are going from water to air. N1 is 1.33 sine of this angle. Shall we just call it the critical angle? Typically given just C is equal to N2, which is just one. And then we set this angle to be 90 degrees to the normal for the critical angle. And sine of 90 is just one. So this means that sine of the critical angle is 1.0 over 1.0. 3, 3. Taking the inverse sine of this, I get that the critical angle is 48.75 degrees. Now, what does that mean? As a point is reflecting light here in all directions, as it reaches another point of the surface, if the angle to the normal exceeds this angle, 48.75, that's the condition, then this light ray here will not go through and be refracted but it will be trapped or it will be totally internally reflected. So in practice this means that there's going to be a radius of a circle R above the diver and that's the window that they will be able to see through. This is actually known as Snell's window. Let me know if there are any divers watching and have actually seen this phenomena. Now, by using Z angles, I can just say that this angle here will also be 48.75. And if that's that, this angle here is 90 degrees. And if this distance here is five meters and this distance is R, I can just use the tan trig function to figure out my distance because tan of 48.75, this will be equal to the opposite R divided by the adjacent, which is just five, meaning that R will be five multiplied by tan of 48.75, or about 5.7 meters. If you're applying to Oxford next year, you should definitely join my Oxford Path Preparation Zoom session. I'll leave a link in the description. Also, there's another problem from the same year which highlights an incredibly important technique that you must know if you're preparing for the path. And I'll leave this video right over here.